You're gonna kill it. I don't know how. What you did, Doc, that camera, it was for that moment. Yo, Pop! Nah! That's a music! Like a lightsaber, okay, so Star Wars was already out. <laughs> oh, 
what, what are we going to do now? I'll handle this. Take your car. Oh, you stupid. Take your car.
guys, you don't want me to make a review about this movie, right? What can I say about it? It was stupid. Yes, it was stupid. Most of the time it was stupid and you can say that it's stupid jokes, stupid situation, stupid story played by stupid actors and actresses in a stupid way and all. But it's on purpose, it's clearly on purpose and if you think that they didn't make it on purpose, you're wrong. Everything is made in a stupid way but on purpose. It's really a movie which is not taking itself seriously, which is not doing things seriously. Even if, you know, you have to, to take things a little seriously to make stupid things like that on screen. I don't know if you understood what I mean but it's really... It's really, <laughs> you know, an effort to do things so stupidly and all, but it's fun. It's just fun and yes, they are not taking themselves seriously. They are not trying to make things in a logical way, clearly, for the story. They are not trying to play it like we're going to cry at the end or we're going to be sad, mad, or we're going to really feel emotions and all for the characters and that's okay, that's on purpose and you know a lot of things are just jokes you know references to movies like the thing about Indiana Jones, the thing about Rambo, the thing about Gun with the, the wind right there at the end but also other moments you know to mock a lot of other movies and a lot of other actors also and actresses and yes, it's just fun and it's okay if it's stupid. You know, like I said before beginning this movie, I knew it before beginning it because I watched a trailer about it. It's really that kind of movie where you take your brain out, you know, you're putting it right there and you're just watching a movie and you're just going with it, you know, no matter what, you're not fighting it by trying to make it you know, more logical than it is by trying to understand it, by trying to, you know, to do things and all. Even, you know, the Rambo moment during this movie, I was like, is they dreaming, right? You know, with what happened just before and all, with the fact that we had that moment at the beginning, it would be logical for that to be him daydreaming. But, you know, I was also ready for them to say no. For once it's not daydreaming and in fact it truly happened because it truly changed you know I was ready to go for it also like for that to be totally illogical also I was totally okay with it so yes it's just fun for sure it's not a movie that I'm gonna watch again and again like I'm not sure that I'm gonna even rewatch it once you know in my life but why not you know <laughs> I was gonna say on a Sunday afternoon, you know, that kind of Sunday afternoon when you have nothing to watch, nothing to do, like really, you just don't know what to do with yourself. You can watch that kind of movies to just have fun and to just spend a good time and, and to know that clearly the writers, clearly the ones who filmed it, clearly the ones who made it, who played into it and all, they didn't try to make something serious and they just wanted to make something stupid on purpose for people who can like, you know, that kind of humor to appreciate it. Why not? You know, for some jokes, for some situation jokes, it made me think like a lot of other movies like Austin Power and movies like that, you know, movies which are made only to, to entertain people, to make stupid things, but that's okay, like, just go with it and... Again, turn your brain off for some minutes, it's gonna be okay. No one is gonna be hurt, you know, during the process, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I was wondering, really, the casting, the guy who is playing Stanley, I don't know why, I was picturing him as a clown, and, you know, during the movie, I was like, is he not that old clown who is, for me, who is French, who is appearing on television sometimes, but he's from US, I know that he's from US. I want to search who played that clown. Michael Richards? No, I was not thinking of you, you know, when I thought about that clown, but why am I picturing you as a clown? 
Yes, 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 you played into Seinfeld. Now I know who you are. Truly, okay, you played into Seinfeld. But I was thinking of who? Django Edwards. I was thinking about Django Edwards. Do you know that guy? It's a US clown and I was thinking of him, you know, during all along this movie, I thought that it was Django Edwards. No, clearly it was not him. But see why I got it wrong? Ah, oh, but they are born almost, you know, during the same period of time. Maybe they were mocking him, you know, with that? Maybe, you know, Stanley right there was supposed to be like Django Edwards? I don't know, but uh, you know, it made me think of him. Okay, now I know at least. Yes, you know, all of the things about about Stanley, you know, about the fact that she just wanted to be a janitor, that moment at the end, with him having that statue, you know, the thing, all the, the, the romantic story also with Terry. All of the weird things that he did, you know, to have her back, like, please never do that to an ex if you want to have her back, like, it was creepy as fuck. A lot of moments were so weird and so creepy, you know, but again, it was made to be funny and all. Not all of the jokes worked on me, I think that you saw it, some of them didn't work on me, like, I was like, mm, no, too much. But most of them worked on me, maybe because, you know, not because I have a weird sense of humor, but because with my dad, when I was a kid, you know, he loved that kind of movies, that kind of jokes. Like, we had also some shows in France when I was young, which were using a lot of weird jokes and weird situations like that and yes it's making me lost i'm not sure you know that someone who would be born during these last years if you're showing that person that movie it's gonna work on that person because it's really a kind of humor which was working during a certain period of time but i'm not sure that it would work again you know put that kind of jokes into a movie right now it's not that it's not politically correct and people are gonna be like oh no you can't do that you know it's not moral and stuff like that it's just that people are not used to have that kind of jokes on screen anymore that kind of humor and it's not going with the period of time just that you know i really think that that you have you you can see you know for other stuff like you have certain period of times in which it was science fiction movies which were working a lot. You have certain period of times when it's superheroes movies which are working a lot. You have certain period of times where really people are just about, you know, puzzle movies. They want to think about stuff and all. And I think that it's a little the same, you know, for comedy things. I think that you have certain period of times for certain sense of humor and certain period of times for other kind of humors. Like during certain period of times, it was all about the accents, you know, to use different accents. During certain period of times, it was all about the gestures, you know, the moves, the faces to make really things physical things, you know, during certain period of times, it was more the kind of jokes with I don't know, really playing with the world or stuff like that. So I really think that during that period of time, it was that kind of humor which could please people. And because when I was a kid, I was used to see movies using that kind of humor with my dad. I think that it can work on me right there, not everything, but most of the things, you know, I'm gonna be like, Okay, <laughs> you have me with that. Like, I'm not gonna lose that much, that big, but okay, it can work on me, why not? Do you understand what I mean? I really think so, that it's working like that, you know, on people, in fact. Okay, I'm not gonna sleep, you know, smarter tonight. I don't know if you have that expression into your country. In France, we are saying something like that, you know, about when we are watching something new and when we are discovering something new 
like we are saying oh okay I'm gonna go to sleep I'm gonna be smarter you know tonight when I'm gonna go to sleep just because I watched that thing or I, I learned that thing like clearly tonight I'm not gonna go smarter to bed but that's okay <laughs> you know it's gonna be that kind of day <laughs> okay tell me what did you think of it tell me if you watched that movie on your own you know when it was for what reason it was <laughs> tell me what did you think of it the first time that you watched it tell me if you're watching it you know again and again like is it really something that you can watch like that often because you love it that much tell me i'm interested by that by your opinion about this movie okay so it's all for me and for you for today for this video so it's all for me for now so bye for now bye wait a minute wait a minute doc uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine Great.